Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to welcome you at the webinar uh, entitled Global Challenges, Local Cooperation. How can we cooperate in the field of education and new skills in immobility sector? Webinar is organized by NCCC, which is National Center for Climate Change. Just before we begin, I would like to welcome our special guest, the former Minister of Climate and Environment, Mr. Michał Kurtyka. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to this webinar where we will be talking about global challenges, local cooperation and how we can work together in the field of education and new skills in electromobility. We already know that several million jobs in the European automotive sector will change in near future. On one hand, new professions will be created like in the field of batteries. On the other, many current ones will require gaining new qualifications and skills. Poland is at the forefront of European employment in the automotive sector and we have more than 300,000 jobs uh, in our country. But uh, the challenges, including regulatory uh, ones, as well as involvement of business and the education sector, will uh, make it extremely complicated for many uh, countries. So close and effective cooperation is a must to succeed in this big change. Our countries have different economic backgrounds, different elements of vehicle production value chain, and differently constructed rules of technical education. However, we share the same challenges. That is why we meet today to discuss and learn about different perspectives. It's an important step, I believe, on the way to developing best recommendations on how to accelerate changes and invest in the quality of education while remembering about the fact that the concept of just transition also applies to workers in the automotive sector. Today we will be working, we will be discussing uh, and uh, then we will continue this discussion during Global E-Mobility Forum on the 25th of November. We will focus on changes in the labor market, the skill gap and the capability of education systems. These changes will affect all stakeholders of the automotive sectors and for this reason it's necessary to start discussions and exchange experience in this area with other countries as well. So let me welcome representatives of four chambers, American Chamber of Commerce, Chambre de Commerce et d'Industrie France-Pologne, Camera di Commercio e Industria Italiana in Polonia, and Scandinavian Polish Chamber of Commerce. Let's start the discussion and let uh, the discussion begin so that we can prepare the ground for Global E-Mobility Forum on the 25th of November, where I uh, already sincerely uh, invite all of participants of this webinar. Have a great discussion. Thank you very much, Minister. It's been a pleasure for us and thank you for your kind words. And now I would like to introduce to welcome our guests, our panelists of today's uh, meeting. First, Mr. Mariusz Waver, Head of Governmental Affairs, 3M and Chair of Sustainability Committee of the MCM in Poland and Mr. Mateusz Jurczyk, branch director Kraków and Katowice of the MCM in Poland. Mr. Radosław Kitala, consulting and Arval Mobility Observatory Manager, Arval Service Lease, Polska. Mr. Piero Canas, partner at Core LLC and president at the Italian Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Poland. Mr. Francesco Nasso, general secretary, Motus E. And last but not least, Mr. Robert Hritz Gawrychowski, CEO of the Nordvolt Poland. I'm very happy that we could gather today and talk about the perspectives of the cooperation within the Polish and European market. 
what are the common threats in the field of education and new skills for our businesses? Uh, what can we learn from each other and what are the best practices uh, in our countries, in our businesses? These are, among others, the topics we would like to discuss today. Let me please start with the question to Mr. Mateusz Jurczyk. What is the American perspective regarding the role of businesses in building the immobility ecosystem, of course, in the field of education? And what are the main obstacles and what needs to be done uh, to fill the gap in the education system in the immobility sector? And are there any interesting projects from American markets you could share with us? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, first of all. Thank you for the invitation for this lovely event. Uh, so let, let me give you the perspective of, of the Chamber and our numerous companies and the experience we have with them. So there, there, there's going to be a couple of threads that I'm going to be talking about. Uh, the, the, the first and the most obvious one, uh, trying to answer the question, what's the role of companies in, in making e electronic vehicles more popular? Uh, that's the obvious ones, is the fleets, right? Uh, we all know what's the life cycle of the car in, in this country, and I will not deliberate on that much more because there are specialists that's going to be talking after me. But we all know if something becomes very popular uh, within the fleets, among the company cars, that's coming to the ground and, and normal users or, or, or individual users start to use it after all. That's happened with diesel, that's happened with SUVs. The same thing is going to happen with electric cars. So, but as I said, I'm not, I'm not going to deliberating on that, on that much more. Uh, I think there are two, two key uh, threads if we are talking about education and about uh, making, making electric cars more popular. The first one is the focus on infrastructure. Mm, this is something that we all know lots has to be done here. Uh, but if we want companies, uh, large fleets to use electric cars more, we need to be working on the infrastructure. Uh, why the, what's the connection between that and the education? It's obvious, we need to educate the decision makers how the infrastructure should look like, where those chargers uh, should be placed. That's so simple, but it's so far away from, from being ideal. I don't know if many of you had a chance to drive from Warsaw to Krakow recently, uh, but just tell me why. There is no a single charger in Kielce area and you have to enter the city center. What sense does it make? Somebody made that decision and I think there's a huge, huge gap to be filled in to start educating decision makers and companies uh, how the infrastructure in the future should look like. Uh, it might look very silly, it might look, it's, it's, it's a small job to be done, but it's a huge gap to be filled. Uh, why I'm talking about educating, why I'm talking about educating companies? Ladies and gentlemen, we are not, I mean, the infrastructure will not be built by the state. It's gonna be built by companies, small and medium and those large ones that we mainly work with. Uh, so just, you know, working on the educating them, uh, that can be a game changer. Uh, going back to educating uh, public administration, uh, even though it's also important, you know, uh, I just faced one of our members is facing right now the situation where they're electric vehicles and autonomous cars cannot be tested on the roads because there is a gap in regulations. I don't want to deep dive into that. Uh, again, it's not a place to do it, but it's a simple missing piece of knowledge among the decision makers to make this thing happen. If we want to speed up the process, uh, we need to make the regulatory environment much more friendly for that kind of businesses who want to develop uh, want to grow that, that, that part of the market. What will that cause? That will change the mindset. That will change the mindset of the decision makers in companies first, and that will change the, market, the, the mindset of consumers, of the other users. And that's, in our point of view, one of the main factors 
that could change the game and because we need to act quickly we all know that that the revolution is coming uh don't have a feeling that we are ready for that uh examples i don't think there is a single company among our members and among all the most of the companies i know uh that would somehow neglect the the coming change uh i was thinking is the education needed among companies like my colleagues going to be talking in a minute from 3M? Uh, and I don't really think so. I think that the level of knowledge and the need is that deep in these companies that we rather need to focus on educating SMEs, small and medium companies that are responsible for a significant part of the market. And believe me, the level of knowledge there seems to be much lower uh when this company is gonna change into electric when it will pay off to them and i don't mean here the cost of the car i don't even mean the range of the car i mean they have to be able to use them as normal ones for that we need the change in thinking of the decision makers so summing up ladies and gentlemen many fields were many directions we should go at the same time but summing up regulatory framework and making the smaller companies more aware of what will happen and what's their future is the key. Thank you. Thank you very much. It looks like there is a lot of challenges, not only for big companies, but uh, in the first place, small and medium companies. And my next question goes to Mr. Mariusz Waver. What is your company, big company experience that you could share with us in the field of education and immobility? I know that 3M has re recently launched manufacturing and uh, academia partnership in Poland, first introduced in the United States, now also in uh, Wrocław. This is a very in in interesting project that shows the, the partnership between the public administration and the business. Yes, thank you. Good morning. Thank you very much for the invitation and for this question. Uh, 3M cooperates with majority uh, of automotive industry players and we also participate in this e-mobility revolution with our partners as customers. So we can see a huge change regarding development of this industry worldwide, but also in Poland. Of course, such revolution requires technologies, new regulation, but also, which is even more important, building a pool of talents which could support the sector development in the near future. It can be done, of course, like Mateusz said before, uh, with internal upskilling in companies to use current employees, but companies like 3M looking forward to trying to be more active in the creation of the future talents. So such approach is very familiar to us, to 3M. In Wrocław, 3M located our manufacturing super hub. This is one of the biggest 3M production center globally. And a big part of this production addressing automotive industry needs, which provides more and more solution for electric cars. And e-mobility solution production demands also quick transformation uh, of our facilities towards industry for zero. Digitalization, automation of process, processes is connected with new employee skills, both blue and white collar workers. So as we believe that supporting this future talent creation required close cooperation of business, educational institution, as well as public administration who can which is making a kind of the direction and long-term plans. So following this thinking, this year we have implemented in Wrocław for the first time outside the US, Global 3M Manufacturing Academic Partnership to support and develop technical and vocational education in Poland and expose students to opportunities in this advanced manufacturing fields. This program works for many, many years in the US and secure successful cooperation with our company with more than 50 technical schools across the US uh, and thousands of students. And uh, this year we launched this project, this program in, in Wrocław uh, in close cooperation and long-term partnership with City of Wrocław, Regional Economic Development Agency, ARAF, which 
includes and gathering all the key investors also from the uh, immobility sector in the region, but also local technical schools. And in this program, we have two goals. First of all, we cooperate with technical and vocational schools on the new curriculums, which will be relevant for the industry for zero manufacturing, if, including a mobility sector needs. But the second, and personally, I believe this is sometimes even more important, to promote STEM communication and manufacturing career among young people, not only in the secondary schools, when kids and parents already make made a choice, but even in the last grades of primary schools, when they, they and they parents choosing uh, education directions and how this program three manufacturing academia partnership works in practice. So. We signed a long-term partnership and cooperation with the Vocational Training Center in Wrocław and the, some of the vocational schools complex in the Wrocław neighborhood and provide a grant for the purchase of modern teaching aids and equipment worth of, at this stage, about half a million lotus. And both institutions will have capabilities, thanks to that, to train future talents for the industry of the future, applying elements of Industry 4.0. We are in the constant dialogue with the City Hall Department of Education on the professions of the future, which is helpful for local government on long-term technical education school development and planning. So what kind of direction, what kind of position can be needed and what trends in education and learning uh, will be required. Of course, our expert from the manufacturing, engineering, R&D has a very close cooperation with the teachers and trainers from technical schools to create a new curriculums or make a necessary adjustment in this education programs and workshops. And uh, it's really ongoing contact, including meetings with our technical centers or even a plan dedicated uh, tours uh, among uh, across the across the plants, uh, we also trying to open our doors for the students. Of course, in the COVID time, it's quite limited, but uh, our technical uh, and innovation center is open, and we every week, every month, we 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 invite the students to our premises that they can touch modern manufacturing solution, learn more on production, maintenance, uh, or just be inspired and to have a better understanding what potential position they can choose in the future. I mean, that this is a really modern manufacturing, not the old fashioned, like, you know, 30 years ago, but we are talking about really, I don't know, like the, from the, for the science fiction, science fiction movies. And we estimate that this is one, in one year, we will manage to meet in such way, even 1,000 1, students. Last but not least, and as I mentioned, this is for me, this is very, very important. Uh, this sets and equipment which we provide to technical school is mobile. So uh, the teaching ads and the equipment set can be provided to the, uh, can we get with the, by the teachers to the lessons to the primary schools to show and really interest uh, uh, the, the primary primary school's uh, pupils and show them what does it mean this manufacturing and why they can uh, choose this their career in STEM or manufacturing in the future. So uh, as you can see, this is a quite complex approach. Uh, with a long-term goals and very critical is a cooperation, good cooperation with the local education system, with the local government and peer companies, which also engage more and more. And we, we, we both, I mean, we, we, every of our partners, we, we cooperate to, to leverage that. As Trillium, we wanted to support STEM education and workforce development within manufacturing, also in the mobility. And this, this uh, three manufacturing and academic partnership allowed us to do both. We are planning and we are planning to develop this program in the future in the uh, other regions of the Poland. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. So it looks for me that looking for a professionals of the future, you need first a pool of talent and then a good communication between stakeholders. So thank you. And my you. next question goes to Mr. Radosław Kitala from uh, French uh, Chamber. Of course, we are very interested in the current challenges in the French immobility ecosystem. But when you look back, do you see progress? What are the main changes? What do you think about the future direction of the immobility in terms of education and new skills? Yes, uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, it was also for me a big pleasure to, to join uh, today's webinar. 
Uh, yes, I'm representing French uh, Chamber of Commerce, and uh, yes, in uh, French market is uh, very mature in comparison to the Polish market. Uh, a lot of uh, stakeholders were uh, interested in developing a, a, a ecosystem of a mobility in France. Uh, a lot of uh, universities uh, working together with NGOs and uh, industry created uh, uh, this background for the great development uh, of uh, a mobility in France. Uh, Together with uh, governmental subsidies, uh, this uh, uh, technologies, uh, pure electric cars, uh, and uh, great development of infrastructure uh, was uh, achieved uh, through the last five years. And uh, just to say that France is one of the biggest uh, EV markets uh, in uh, Europe uh, nowadays. Uh, we have to learn some lessons uh, from uh, their perspective. A lot of change uh, uh, was, uh, was seen and now uh, we can observe uh, uh, the, some other uh, challenges. Now they are not connected with uh, how to introduce uh, BEVs uh, in the market or how to develop infrastructure, but what to do with uh, uh, these vehicles when they are out of uh, uh, use, uh, how to recycle and give a uh, second life to uh, batteries or uh, how to uh, store energy so vehicle to greet uh, um, issues come uh, now uh, into the scope of uh, discussion or, or planning what to do and uh, yes uh, educational system was also very important to develop this uh, uh, background and necessary skills uh, because uh, French automotive uh, industry is very uh, important for, for the whole Europe uh, and also here in Poland we have uh, now many uh, uh, examples of good cooperation between business and educational uh, schools and uh, the whole industry. Um, so we see the opportunity to develop uh, these new skills uh, together with, with, with uh, different stakeholders. Um, as a representative of Chamber of, of uh, Commerce, I'm also representing uh, here in Poland, Arva Mobility Observatory NGO, which uh, also uh, making a deep dive into, into automotive trends and help to educate the market uh, here in Poland. So together with different companies, we are trying to educate as well uh, everyone, employees, for instance, of our uh, clients or, or stakeholders, uh, what is the basic uh, idea of electric cars, how to implement them, uh, uh, into car policies, for instance, or uh, then in real life. And many workshops with employees uh, have been uh, uh, made uh, through all these years and months. Uh, and uh, it's sometimes something basic, making uh, a series of myth busters to, to change this approach, myths that electric cars are not good enough for me because if they have limited range, I have no access to infrastructure and so on. Now we are getting another stage of discussion in Poland uh, uh, and uh, we are better prepared for the future to come. Uh, more and more cars are on the roads, more infrastructure is being developed, uh, a great uh, work done by a Polish association of alternative fuels uh, together with uh, uh, educational um, schools, uh, business partners, uh, and as well public uh, sector, uh, made these uh, technologies and ecosystem of uh, mobility closer to, to uh, uh, ca customers, private individuals. Uh, I have recently seen a great article, uh, very fresh, uh, from uh, scientists from uh, Silesian uh, 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 University of Technology, which is uh, when, what, and how to teach about electromobility, uh, an innovative uh, um, teaching concept for all stages of, of education. Uh, very uh, good work, uh, which uh, 
diagnosis all uh, gaps uh, at Polish uh, uh, scene uh, uh, when we are talking about eco ecological and uh, this mobility uh, system. Technical issues, social issues, uh, law issues and economic issues, which uh, can be uh, now quite good uh, uh, driven to, to, to what we should do at stage of uh, primary schools, secondary schools, and then graduate and postgraduate uh, studies to develop these skills and uh, uh, basic knowledge uh, and interests uh, uh, between different groups of, of uh, uh, audience. Uh, so uh, I think it is a very good article for the further discussion uh, about this future direction of this education. Uh, what uh, should we do? What should we follow to achieve uh, our mobility and ecological goals uh, in the future? Thank you very much. It looks like that we need not only education for our employees, but also we need a basic education to, to the market, to the older market in, uh, in, uh, in Poland. Thank you for that, uh, for your views and remarks. And now I would like to switch to Italian Chamber of Commerce and Industry and welcome the president of the chamber, Mr. Piero Canas. Sir, the floor is yours. Good morning, everybody, and thank you very much for the opportunity. Italian Chamber of Commerce, uh, since uh, 2017, uh, highlighted electromobility as uh, one of the future topics uh, on, uh, on working on it, due to the fact that uh, uh, the Italian uh, value chain in automotive in Poland is very, very developed. And uh, uh, since 2017, we start organizing every year an international uh, automotive business meeting uh, totally dedicated to electromobility activities in cooperation with the um, Katowice Spezial Nastrefe Ekonomica, with uh, PZPM, PSPA and Leviathan. So working with the most important organization in terms of automotive sector in Poland. And uh, during the, the lockdown of the past winter, we start... Uh, uh, analyzing the, we had time to, nothing to do, so we had time to think, and we start uh, analyzing uh, where we were going. And uh, we understood, for example, that one of the areas of the electromobility world that we were missing was education. And uh, so we start uh, analyzing what uh, uh, we could do, and uh, we start talking with uh, Motus E. Motus E is uh, now a member of the Chamber of Commerce and uh, is the first association in Italy made up of industrial operators, uh, the automotive sector, the academic world and opinion movement to create a system and, uh, and accelerate the change toward electromobility. So not only new technology for producing batteries, not only new technologies for the disposal of the batteries and so on, but also what we have to do with the, with the market, the market in terms of a, a future utilizer, but also future technician uh, who will be the, uh, the future uh, engineer that will work in the sector, because probably they are not the, the old one style. All the, all the approach to the electromobility has to be changed in terms of uh, uh, studies, engineering studies, and so on. So uh, we are now uh, starting from uh, 2022. We hope to be able to uh, introduce also in Poland the strong experience of Motus E and uh, his uh, activities that Mr. Francesco Naso will uh, introduce uh, right now. Uh, so thank you very much for this opportunity. It's very important. The Italian Chamber of Commerce is very active in this field, and uh, we are we are here at disposal of anyone who needs uh, support on this field. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And now I would like to ask Mr. Francesco Naso from Motus E 
about Italian experience uh, at that field of uh, education and new skills. What are the main strategic policies uh, on immobility competences, new skills and education that Italian public institutions have already defined and the ones that should be foreseen in the future? Thank you. Thank you very much for the, the invitation. Thank you from, to President Canas uh, to give me the opportunity to, to talk about this, this matters that are crucial. Um, with Moto C, we are uh, mapping uh, nowadays the uh, entire value chain of the uh, enterprises and companies that are working currently and investing currently in uh, the electromobility. Um, and with uh, another institution, we are trying to uh, match the mapping of the uh, companies with uh, the uh, professionalities and the competences of the of the workers in, involved. We are uh, um, calculated that uh, the entire uh, work, the, 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 the workers that are involved are more or less 1 million uh, in Italy impacted by the electromobility transition. And of course, uh, there, there, there will be more in the next years to come. Um, nowadays, unfortunately, the uh, offering of the the offer of the of the educational offer uh, is quite fragmented so the universities and the uh, high schools uh, they have no um, no unique and uniform uh, curricula on the electromobility um, and so there are some excellences of course uh, one for example in the university it's Mooner the motor um, the Automotive University in uh, Emilia Romagna. Uh, another one is the uh, Polytechnic di Milano, and uh, another one uh, is the Polytechnic of Torino. They uh, are currently offering uh, curricula for electromobility, uh, but there is no um, uniform uh, offer uh, in the other university uh, on uh, on our territory. Um, what we are doing is to try to uh, uh, uniform and offer in other universities, also in the south of Italy, for example, uh, the same courses and the same uh, curricula uh, the, other, the other excellences are offering. With Modus E also, we, are, uh, we, we created uh, with uh, some professor in high schools uh, a network of ITS, uh, that is the, the professional uh, high school uh, that forms technicians uh, for uh, industries and, uh, and companies. And uh, there are nowadays um, almost 40 uh, uh, institutions and uh, all over Italy, also in the south of Italy. But we have to uh, check the different needs because some of them uh, are in uh, an area that uh, it's covered by a lot of companies and so uh, a lot of uh, uh, students uh, will will find a job easily, uh, but other other institutions in the south of Italy, for example, uh, uh, they are not uh, they are not covered uh, and not connected with uh, with companies. So we need to understand which kind of uh, curricula and uh, and which kind of laboratories and which kind of experience they can uh, uh, they can receive. Uh, anyway, uh, we talked a lot about talents, and uh, I really think that something that is missing in, in, uh, in, the, policy here, in the policies here in Italy. Um, so what we uh, are trying to uh, present to, to the government nowadays, using also the, the recovery plan resources, uh, it's that uh, it's possible to create new postdocs and research grants dedicated to uh, the, the research and development on solid state batteries, on uh, recycles, uh, recycle and second life, and of course on, on uh, new cathode chemistries that are, uh, that are needed for many different applications, not only uh, automotive applications. Uh, another thing that we are trying to uh, present for the utilization of the recovery plan um, of the recovery plan resources is the uh, some fiscal incentives in order to um, attract uh, under 35 uh, talents uh, for uh, for our companies because nowadays we have uh, 
um, we, we, we lack sometimes uh, the competences, in, uh, especially in, uh, in, uh, in the battery sector. Uh, another thing that we proposed, uh, it's the upskilling companies. So to uh, create a sort of a scheme of fiscal incentives for investment in training inside the companies, because nowadays uh, e-mobility is not covered by these kind of fiscal incentives that, are, that already exist. Uh, last but not least, um, like, as Moto C, we are trying to um, dedicate part of uh, the uh, training uh, uh, resources and activities on professional courses. For example, we uh, are trying to deliver uh, some, uh, some courses uh, for independent uh, mechanical workshops or for the installers of uh, um, charging infrastructure. Uh, because we need many of them and uh, we need to reskill some of them uh, in order to cover the, uh, the, the lack of competences that they have. Uh, this is more or less the, our activity and our proposal to, to the government. There are some excellences, but we need to work a lot in order to face the, the transition for electromobility. Thank you for the space you give me. Thank you very much. It looks like in Italy there are the same there are the same problems with the education process as in Poland. As in Poland, uh, you mentioned that the system of education is fragmented and there are a lot of gaps. We still need to fill. So uh, as uh, you can see, the experiences from different markets, from Italy, from United States, France are quite similar but at the same time the the markets are different so there are different different challenges so now i would like to uh, ask mr robert hritz gavrohowski from scandinavian chamber what are the key reflections on the current situation regarding education in immobility sector this is the first and the second one are you planning to focus to educate the employees in the specific sector of your ecosystem or more general education? Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you very much for, for the invitation to this uh, webinar and uh, for a great, great discussion and, uh, and the question. Uh, well, uh, I mean, in general, this, this whole new industry is, uh, is booming in Poland uh, for the last couple of years. and uh the prediction for the upcoming uh, decade shows that it will be kind of uh, two digits growth still and it led us to to huge demand for specific skills and 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 talents pool you know to enable and and support this growth and the cooperation you know between the companies and universities and vocational secondary schools becomes more important uh, nowadays. I'm happy to hear, for example, of, uh, what Marius from 3M said, that uh, they are going uh, more deeply than into the primary schools and also the kind of the overall educations, uh, I would say maybe even information and knowledge sharing across, you know, uh, authorities, uh, uh, stakeholders, uh, but the societies as well. This is this is a very 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 important. But uh, I would like to focus on the on the battery industry uh, where Nordvolt, you know, builds the whole value chain, you know, starting from uh, from active materials for cathode and anode production, uh, lithium ion cells uh, manufacturing, uh, battery systems and uh, uh, energy storage solutions, as well as uh, recycling to to close the loop and uh, and also it's it, it it's what to, to, to highlight that uh, the battery segment in poland covers today even two percent of, of of polish export uh, annually and uh, and it's still still growing so it requires not only standard tool of of, of skill sets you know typically for 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 example for uh the standards for automotive sectors and high volume manufacturing uh, you know when it comes to automation uh, processes uh, uh, quality um, industrialization or sustain engineering uh and for example operators uh, familiar with human machine interfacing 
but also in terms of uh, specific knowledge, you know, for the tasks covering uh, uh, design, research and development from the product process and uh, equipment point of view. Um, uh, for example, to enable the concept of uh, Industry 4.0 or even 5.0 and uh, digital twin factory concept. So, you know, uh, to name the few of uh, our uh, Northvolt activities, uh, you know, which, which, which drive the requirements for the uh, a personal and, and, and knowledge, uh, uh, for example, you know, design the, the, the high volume manufacturing processes uh, 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 you know, fully automated and uh, digitized. Uh, um, uh, design of production lines and equipment, uh, um, uh, test equipment for, for electrical components uh, or as a kind of the part of the quality assurance program, uh, end of line testers, uh, uh, system level testing, uh, hardware, embedded software development, and uh, overall research and development activity in terms of uh, battery modules, uh, uh, energy storage systems, especially, for example, in terms of the functional safety kind of the system architecture, which should be a kind of the main driver for this sector, you know, electrical parameters, life cycle, energy density, sustainability. And in all those disciplines and areas, I see, I see the significant gaps that we still have. I mean, in Nordvolt, we are saying, but also we are receiving the, the, the feedback from, from, from our people that the best school is, is a Nordvolt school. And, uh, and this is uh, very, very important. But, uh, but, you know, this is a kind of the answer to your second question. So definitely we, 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 we are implementing kind of the specific programs uh, for the specific skills uh just to just to um, uh, you know uh support the inflow of the best talents but uh, um, this is something more that uh, requires a very very close cooperation with the the overall educational sector and uh, for example there's a couple of levels for 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 us here in in, in poland that we have already uh, implemented and and, and kick off this is a kind of uh uh, from one hand, uh, you know, uh, outsourcing some specific uh, uh, research and uh, development works uh, uh, together with the technical universities uh, in different different disciplines like you know electronics, uh, telecommunication, information uh, technologies, or, or mechanical engineering, but also there's a kind of you know. Um, uh, ordering and uh, implementing uh, the dedicated program of studies in the field of, uh, from the general point of view, renewable energy sources, uh, but also from the specific point of view, like functional safety in product development, or you know, distributed energy storage systems, or you know, advanced mass production. Uh, we are also, you know, participating in the implementation of the of the. PhD programs uh, and uh, financing, you know, through scholarships, scholarships and, uh, and, and employment financing and supporting of the of the uh, uh, additional educations uh, program. But also, we cooperate very strong with with the uh, vocational uh, secondary schools because we need also very well skilled, prepared, uh, you know, technicians, operators which uh, will be very familiar to uh, with the human machine interfacing, uh, uh, you know, in this uh, uh, industry 4.0, which we are, we are, oh, I would say maybe some distinction between the industry 4.0 and industry 5.0 when uh, we are seeing the kind of the return of, of, of manpower to factories in this 5.0 concept against this, the, 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 the previous one, the 4.0, for example. So there's a couple of, of, of actions that we are already, already uh, uh, commenced and, and start uh, to cooperate uh, with, the, with the educational sector. Uh, but, uh, but still, there is a lot of challenges, especially in terms of the kind of the, you know, stimulate the, 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 the proper 
mindset in the in the you know uh, universities uh, authorities and uh, and uh, kind of uh, building the, the 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 approach of the necessity of uh, you know following the the, the the tough time schedules you know time to market is 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 something which is very very important uh, just to 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 enable the overall uh, transformation that is happening around of us and this is uh, what the Norvolt is 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 the most important uh, uh, for for us but this is a kind of the reflection regarding uh, what is the current situation around us here in in, in Poland and, and and our present uh, on, on the Polish market uh educational market you know labor market uh, and and uh, you know this is a very important uh, one of the most important decision in terms of the you know location of our uh battery systems and energy storage systems uh, solutions uh, in, uh, site we have here so yes we are we are, we are planning to focus on 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 the education of our employees in the specific sectors but also we are we we are already commenced the programs together with the universities technical universities and the vocational secondary schools so this is kind of a hope good answer for 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 your question thank you Thank you very much. It looks like for your company, the best school, it's Nordvolt School. But sometimes you still need to dig deeper and start earlier to look for uh, talent. And uh, our interesting and very fruitful discussion is slowly coming uh, to the end. But I'm still very curious, is there, are there any other uh, good uh, examples of uh, cooperation between business and academia and best practices from your country uh, would, uh, which you can share with us. Maybe I will say something about uh, uh, not directly of the cooperation between the industry and the uh, educational sector. But for example, I would like to, to highlight uh, one of the, I think, a very good uh, initiative uh, uh, in terms of the, um, you know, kind of the international cooperation on the EU level with, uh, with the program which is prepared uh, as a part of, uh, you know, European Battery Alliance in terms of creating uh, uh, competitive and uh, sustainable you know battery industry and the resources uh, well skilled and educated resources for that because you know and starting from the from the very beginning from you know uh, uh, raw materials and r d innovation sustainability uh, you know supporting the cells uh, cell production and uh, and uh, secure the skilled uh, work uh, workforce you know because we are talking in the to look uh, brighter on this kind on, of, of, of our industry we're talking about four million new jobs in europe in general so this is uh, one of the solutions where the when the when the industry and companies could cooperate together with the with the local state authorities and uh, and uh, and the uh, uh, european battery alliance uh, to provide the kind of the you know list of requirements you know uh, uh you know methodology uh, or utilize the methodology maintain maintain this and 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 and, and to, uh adopt to 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 local specific needs just to you know uh deliver in in in, in this this uh, meaning uh, uh really great uh, talent pool to the industry Thank you. If I'm... Poland, of course, is the, the part of Battery Alliance and we are closely cooperating also in the field of education uh, at the, this alliance. And any more interesting cases from other countries? Maybe not from other countries, but from American companies in Poland. Uh, going back to what, what my colleagues said before, I fully agree with what has been said about building the mindset. That's that's more or less what I was trying to say on the beginning. And that should definitely start on the early stages of education. Uh, I will not 
I will not go back to the other examples, but, but something close to my heart and to my lungs is how education has changed how we in Krakow heat our houses. Listen, my children don't even think about heating houses with, with, with coal or wood. We had to stop it two years ago, which was a fantastic decision. The same will happen with the cars as soon as we start educating them. But from the experience of the companies that work with us, uh, definitely uh, it's the focus on working with the universities, especially technical universities, which is, I must say, not always so bright as it looks on the paper. There are some where places, I, I, I don't want to build like a, like a list of, of, of good ones and bad ones here. Uh, but most of you will probably know there are a couple of, of the universities in around Poland that are willing to cooperate with business. And I mean partnership here, uh, whereas the majority is still waiting for the change. And there we need to, much more has to be done to be much more effective in what they do, because it's, 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 it's very nice to put a nice banner in the, on the, on, on, uh, over your door, uh, telling you're working with business. But uh, we have many examples of good cooperation, but we also have examples of many failures. And that field really, really needs to be improved and listening to the voice of business is crucial. Thank you. I see the I, Italian chambers. Yeah. Of course, please. No, just uh, that's something. Okay, I go. <laughs> uh, no, I think I, I totally agree with Robert from Northwold uh, related to the new industry five industry five point zero, because uh, we have two challenges. One is reconvert the actual the skills of the actual workers in terms of new uh, production related to electromobility and the second is to train the new the new ones uh, now we are in the area uh, 4.0 so automation 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 and we, and we are still missing a lot of uh, professionalities but not only in poland also in italy we have a, a an enormous problem on finding uh, STEM professional and so on. So if, if in the future uh, the 5.0 industry will, uh, will take part uh, in, the, in our world, uh, this problem will be also more and more difficult to solve. So we have to start absolutely now with new vision, uh, new ideas and new project on this. Um, I thank would you. Just Any more something. remarks? Yeah, uh, thank you, President Kanas. I just wanted to add something about the not, not only the quality of the uh, professional uh, figures that we need, but also the the, the quantity. So uh, we, we we need more technical figures, and uh, I really think that um, something that could be useful is to it, someone has told it uh, has told it. Uh, to 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 prepare in high school uh, and also primary school uh, uh, the interest uh, and the uh, inclination to the um, to the STEM and scientific uh, matters, uh, especially towards women, because we don't have women that they, that work in uh, in sector like uh, automotive, uh, uh, mechatronic, uh, uh, chemistry. Uh, and so also in uh, the future uh, electromobility sector. Thank you. Thank Cannot you. Cannot agree more. So, <laughs> so it looks like uh, searching going to uh, interest uh, students uh, from universities are too late. We need to, uh, to focus on high schools because this is uh, the, the the new field which uh, the, our companies and companies from automotive sector should start to uh, look for uh, for their future uh, employees gentlemen once again i thank you for your valuable contribution and it's been a pleasure to to have opportunity to
to talk with you about education and uh, new skills. And I hope we will meet again during the third edition of Global Mobility Forum on the 25th of November this year. Thank you very much and see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.